Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Tile Tuesdays, we are in this extremely hot and very vast desert because we have found ourselves this extremely epic pyramid. Look at this thing, guys. Now, this was loads of fun to make in the tile editor, but I will be honest, this thing probably almost fried my computer. Now, we are going to be watching the time lapse of the build process, and I will point out at what point my computer started to really struggle. And I never thought I would be struggling so much in the tile editor, uh, but it is absolutely awesome. We're going to go inside and check it out after the time lapse. And I also have a really cool little desert jeep over there in the distance, but the problem is I got a lot of loose luggage, so I think I'm going to make a little trailer for that thing in the video too, so we can and haul around our desert supplies and would you look at that over there even further there is an oasis in this desert as well how convenient is that so let's get into this time lapse guys and start exploring
All right, guys, so this is the finished pyramid. Hopefully during the time lapse, you saw just how ridiculous this thing is, and it literally was bogging my computer down, but I am absolutely in love with this new pyramid, and I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy it as well, because you know it's going to be on the Steam Workshop. Uh, but one of my favorite things about it is you can actually walk up the side of the pyramid, and I wasn't sure how big it really was going to be while I was making it, but in the end, I was like, you know what, this thing is awesome. Awesome. I would say it's probably the perfect size, uh, but the main stuff is really on the inside. We could climb that pyramid all day, but in here is where it is at. So I will mention I did want to add more in here, but if you saw in the time lapse, the amount of circles and stuff that are just in the way, hopefully they'll add some type of option where eventually we'll be able to scale those circles down so we can work a little more in the finer details. You can see there's even like little slight cracks and stuff. I really actually enjoyed that aspect of these stones because it just adds a little bit of mystery now. Ooh, what is this, guys? Oh, man, look at this. So we found this pyramid. We're finding treasure. How perfect is that? You know what? I'm just going to walk in here and wait a second. Wait a second. Uh-oh, guys, I have just fallen into a trap. Are you serious? No. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, jeez, that one is coming. What? Oh, it was so fast. This one. Oh, no, this is the one. It's going so slow, guys. Are you serious? I wa I just wanted this shiny thing. Oh, boy. Oh, man, there's nothing I can do, guys. Look at this. This wall is in the way. Oh. So, this was actually a lot of fun to add into this pyramid, and that is like a booby trap. Uh, and as you can see, guys, uh-oh, I'm trying to... Can I just... You know, can I? Oh, no. Okay. And we are now totally pinched in the spike wall, guys. Uh, so this was a lot of fun, though. You can see there's just a piston on that side and a piston on this side here. And I connected it all around because the tiles don't count for anything, right? So everything is connected around so that way we can actually use this stuff inside the pyramid. But... If you ever do want to get out of this thing, there's a little trick, guys. You just have to extend something out from right here on this wall, and that will actually trigger something. So let me just get rid of that there, and hopefully these spikes will go away and free us. All right, there we go. So the spikes are going to retract now, uh, but I'll point out right here, you can see there is a few things, but this is actually some of the invisible mod, so that way everything was nice and hidden when you were inside. Uh, but this is awesome, guys. A huge spike trap inside of a pyramid. I never thought we would ever see something like this in Scrap Mechanic yet. Here we are. Uh, so you can easily just walk around that sensor though. You can see the sensor is right there in the center. So if you're an extremely avarice kind of person and you've got to go get that golden goblet thing, then you're probably going to set that thing off and the trigger the trap door and eventually you're going to get crushed by spikes. So be careful. Uh, but other than that, we also have another chamber over here, and there's nothing crazy going on in here. I, I started to make, like, some type of tomb sarcophagus thing for a mummy, but in the end... I, the circles, guys, the circles are, like, this big, and there's, like, one, two, three, four, so there's, like, four things with four circles. But there's all these circles. Guys, there's so many circles. I've just seen circles for days when I was making this pyramid. And it was starting to drive me a little nuts. Uh, but this is supposed to be like the main, you know, the tomb of the pyramid here. Um, I think, though, I might uh, revisit this one day and open this side up and actually go down deeper underground. Uh, the only problem, like I said, is just so many circles. But this is the epic pyramid, guys. Look at that. I love walking out of it into the sunlight of the desert. And this is just one heck of a tile. Now, no one really suggested this one. I think I just kind of felt inspired. And I started making it. And here it is now. So make sure you go check it out in the Steam Workshop. But I did arrive in this really, really awesome Jeep. But... I mean, I have luggage everywhere. I was driving along, I had the luggage sitting right back here, guys, and I hit this big sand dune, and all my luggage came flying out. So I think I'm going to add a trailer to this bad boy, so that way we can haul all of our supplies, and we could probably even drive over to that beautiful oasis and set up camp right there. So let's, uh, let's do that.
All right, there we go, guys. We now have a trailer on the back of this Jeep, and you know what? I, I love this Jeep. So let's actually grab all of our stuff here, and we're gonna jam it in here. You know, I'm gonna use the uh, the weld tool this time. Last time I didn't, you know, and it all, it all fell out of the back of the truck. So we're gonna do this properly. We're gonna have loads of room for it as well. All right, just like that right here. We'll have to put that one there. And we'll grab another briefcase, and maybe we can jam that one right in here like that. And all we need to do is pack our sleeping bag. There we go, look at that! Alright, perfect. So now we have all of our stuff in the back of our truck. We can kind of take a quicker look at this thing here. So this was a lot of fun to make. I was trying to find as many images as I could of some type of truck that was used in the desert, and I guess this is actually something stylized from Indiana Jones or something. I mean, that's and that's what I ended up looking up on Google. Uh, but you can see it's it's nice and simple, uh, but it's definitely some good usage of all sorts of mods here, and I'm just really happy with the way it turned out. All right, so let's make our way over to this beautiful oasis now. Uh, this is a combination of tile editor as well as some stuff from the normal mods. So let's just kind of drive right in. There we go. We can actually park right here in the shade of one of the palm trees. And there you go. You can see we also have ourselves a beautiful oasis in the middle of this desert. Uh, now, so I was using the tile editor to add a lot of the foliage and stuff like that around the entire area. Uh, but I also ended up using the Ikey Vegetation mod, one of my favorite mods actually, and he has some palm trees in there, and I gotta say, these palm trees look look absolutely amazing in here, and I think it really, I mean, without those obviously, you really just wouldn't have this tile whatsoever with an oasis. And you can even go underneath the water here, guys, look at this, we're underwater now. There's even weird plants and stuff under here, uh, but nonetheless, guys, I am just having so much fun with these tiles and just building some unique things that I think really just change the game completely. And I also should mention though, it looks really funny when you're far from the pyramid because it doesn't render it properly. Look at this! So I'm hoping, I hope if the devs for some reason are watching this video, I don't know why they'd be watching this video, but why can't I see my pyramid? Look at this! I'm only on this sand ridge right here, and I actually wanted to do some stuff here with the sand ridge, but I, you can't see the pyramid. But if we take a few steps closer, you guys can see that there is in fact a pyramid there. Uh, it just doesn't render it properly, so like I said guys, hopefully the devs will maybe one day add some better viewing ranges for some of these things. Um, now, before I go though, I want to also point out, you can actually put a seat somewhere in this tunnel here and go in it and then pop out. Look at this, guys. Now we are in the entire pyramid. Look at that. Oh, man. So this is just absolutely awesome. I don't think I've had as much fun in the tile editor as I had in this one, despite the ridiculous number of circles in my face. I gotta say, this is probably my favorite tile now. Here you can see that is the trap door there. I had to I had to be conscious in the tile editor to be able to incorporate this, so I had something blocking here, but I ended up removing it, sizing it up, and making sure stuff would fit as well, and it just turned out really, really awesome. So let's just hop into that seat there. We are now kind of sitting here. We can just eject ourselves right out of the pyramid just like that. And there it is, guys. This is the Pyramid in Tile Tuesdays. I sure hope you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy the video, then perhaps hit the like button, guys, and it'll certainly help the channel out and get more people over here enjoying some of this endless scrap mechanic. And if you have any suggestions for future Tile Tuesdays episodes, then definitely put them down in the comments, guys. I'm always looking forward to hearing your feedback and what you guys have to offer. So, again, thank you so much for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanic, and I will be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.